This is question number three. In part eight, we're asked to find the first four terms of the expansion of one plus x over two to the tenth in ascending powers of x, given each term in its simplest form. The question carries four miles. I'm gonna use the NCR method to find my coefficients. So the first term will be 10 C zero. We'll have one to the power of 10. We'll have x over two to the power of zero. Then we'll have now 10 C one we'll have one to the power of nine, we'll have x over two to the power of one, plus 10 c two, we'll have one to the power of eight, we'll have x over two to the power of two, and then the fourth term we'll have 10 c three, we'll have now one to the power of seven, and we'll have x over two to the power of three. So let's go ahead and look at this. 10 c zero is one. So we'll have one times by one, 1 to any power is just going to give us 1, multiplied by x over 2 to 0, which is just 1. 10c1 is going to give us 10. If you're unsure, look on the calculator. 10, then we hit shift, the divide button on 1, that gives us 10. Then we have 1, and then we have x over 2. 10c2, if you know this one, this one is 45. If not, you can just check it on the calculator. We'll have 1 then we'll have x squared over 2 squared, which is going to give me 4. So if you want to check 10c2 into the calculator, just swap this over for a 2, and that gives us a 45. We got 10c3. 10c3 is 120. We've got 1. Then we'll have x cubed over 8. Again, check it in the calculator if you're unsure. 10c3, just switching this over, will give us for 120. Let's go ahead and tidy this up. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Then we're going to have now 10 times x over 2, which is 5x. Then we're going to have now plus 45 over 4x squared. We've got 120 over 8, which is 15. So that's 15x cubed. So that now gives us the first four terms in their simplest form. In part B for three marks, it says use your expansion to estimate the value of 1.005 to the tenth, given your answer to five decimal places. If we just have a look at this now, we can see that we got 1 plus x over 2 to the tenth, and we got 1.005 to the tenth. We need to find a suitable value for x, and with this particular one, we can simply say that 1 plus x over 2 will be equal to 1.005. Subtracting 1 from both sides, x over 2 is going to be equal to 0 0.005. Multiplying both sides by 2, x is going to be 0 .00, uh, 0 0.01. So let's just put that in, 0 0.01. So that is going to be now my value for x, which we're going to sub in here and find an approximation. So that is what I'm going to plug in. So let's go ahead and show that. So we will have now... 1 plus 5 lots now of 0 0.01 plus now the 45 over 4. So 45 over 4 lots of the 0 0.01, which we need to square, plus 15 lots now of the 0 0.01, which we need to cube. You can go ahead and show the value of each of these. I'm just going to simply now write them out as an answer once I've substituted it in. So what we're going to have now is for 0 0.01, I'm going to have 1 plus 5 lots of my answer, plus 45 lots of my answer squared, which I need to divide by 4, and then I'm going to have plus 15 lots of my answer, which I need to cube. That's going to give me now 1, so writing this down, 1.05, then we're going to have 1, 1, 4. So that now is given to 5dp. So that's 5dp. At this stage, we could walk away from the question. I generally like to just check a rough approximation, uh, my approximation against the actual value to see if I'm in the same ballpark. So if this is way out, I might want to go back and check what I'm doing. So if we look at this, if I plug this into the calculator, 1.005 to the power of 10, that's going to give me now this value right here. So as we can see, if we look at these two, that's pretty good. So unless I've done something majorly uh, silly here, that looks a pretty good answer. Remember, the more terms we add, the more accurate our approximation will get. But in terms of what I've done, at least it's not way out.